So here we have my underwater camera equipment. Um, it's all packed away nice and snug. I just bought this uh, new travel case for it um, as my old one was falling to bits. Uh, so here we have the uh, actual housing. Uh, it's attached to the tray currently. Um, over here we have the strobe and video light. <coughs> we have the arms and uh, attachments here. Charging points for the Canon S110s. Um, a few batteries in there. Uh, can't remember where else I'll put it now, I'll get to that later. Uh, this is the Epoque wide angle lens. Um, brilliant um, bit of kit. Some quality photos with it. Uh, so without any further ado, in the next bit, it will be put together just like Blue Peter. And here's one I made earlier. So here we have the, uh, oh my god, my camera work. It's my first time vlogging. Okay, so uh, this is the camera setup. It's propped it up against the bag, uh, but you kind of get the picture what it looks like. Let's take this uh, flashlight off. Right, okay, so at the front we have a, uh, a poke wide angle lens. Absolutely beautiful. Needs a bit of a clean. Um, I'll do that before I go on this trip. Here we have the uh, Icolite tray and handles. I just had to uh, pop into Reading, where I'm from, for some new nuts. As uh, on my last dive of my trip in May, uh, the nuts that came with the Icolite tray um, decided to fall off. <laughs> uh, just as we were uh, we were ascending, um, coming up. Uh, and went to take a picture of, I think it was like a file fish or something like that and um, yeah my uh, arm of my video light uh, went one way and the rest of the camera setup went the other way um, I just saw the washer and the nut slowly 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 but quick because I couldn't reach them in time uh, falling towards the seabed so um, if anyone found a nut in uh, what what do I say? I think it was Shampon Pinnacle in Thailand. Uh, it's mine. Uh, I'll give you my uh, postcode and my address if you found it. Cheers. Uh, so the actual housing itself, um, it's made for the Canon S110. Um, I think you could probably fit in a S120 um, or the newer one which they've just brought out, but. The buttons are made for the S110, so um, all the buttons are really easy to press. Um, do get into some problems um, underwater at depth, where um, some buttons will stick in. Um, you just kind of give them a little push, and they'll uh, pop back out. Um, options, like for camera options, is up here. So that. Uh, I've had no problems finding the right uh, format or, it, or whatever. I, I actually use manual settings when I'm underwater. Um, you get much better fit footage and uh, clearer pictures. You can basically just uh, go with the flow, um, what depth you're at, um, change the ISO on the fly, um, change the white balance using uh, this nozzle on the front. Um, I'll show you the camera. In a minute you'll see uh, that, I don't know if you can see actually, <laughs> um, yeah there we go. Uh, on the inside uh, there are some uh, cogs which um, as you'll probably know if you've got a Canon S110 you think well how does that work. Uh, I could like send, a, uh, send out a cog wheel for your um, front um, ring function. Um, so you can adjust the white balance on the fly. Um, that's what I've got mine set up for. You can uh, obviously customise it to have whatever you want, like focus or other options. I haven't really played about on the camera that much yet. Uh, so this is the uh, trigger button. Uh, very good, not broken on me. Um, 
I mean, I only use this uh, setup maybe twice a year. Um, love to do it more, uh, but I have a full time job. <laughs> um, so, that wire that you can see there. Um, that is the slave strobe, um, well slave uh, wire for the strobe, so when the camera flashes this lovely CNC, um, I think it's a y... YSO2, um, that flashes. Um, you can change the uh, brightness um, and uh, I, other, other settings on the back here. It takes AA batteries and I find that it, the batteries last um, maybe two dies, um, especially if you have it on full power um, down here. You can change that to full full brightness. Um, I mean, when people are taking pictures, it's trial and error um, underwater. You just got to get the settings correct and mess about. Take hundreds of thousands of pictures. Um, that's how I've been uh, kind of teaching myself um, how to do it. Um, so the camera setup like this, um, it's quite weighty. Um, so if you are traveling um, to other places have a little look into weights on your flights um, what you're allowed um, I'm lucky in the fact that I'm flying with Etihad and I get two pieces of hand luggage um, which is perfect for me uh, so the Epoque video light very bright um, get some vibrant colours uh, coming out with that. Um, I won't turn it on, um, A because it's really bright and B because it's got no battery left. Um, I did try and turn it on. <coughs> so uh, what I'll do now is uh, show you a little bit of footage and some uh, photos that I've taken um, just to showcase how this uh, camera setup works really um, it wasn't cheap but in camera terms underwater camera terms it is um, especially when you see uh, some of the underwater camera setups that other people have got for their uh, SLR cameras etc for a compact camera you're looking at paying um, around about the £1,200 mark for a quality setup to get quality pictures. Um, the lenses are probably the most expensive part of the uh, setup. The uh, wide angle lens, um, I'll give you the prices um, at the end, but as you can see, that's probably one of the most expensive parts of this setup. Uh, macro lenses, you're looking at probably about £400 just for the lens, uh, but if you want to get quality pictures of uh, nudibranch, shrimps, anything small, then definitely worth the purchase. Um, I'm actually looking into getting one myself. So this is the uh, camera that I use. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, kind of cog that I can like, send with the, uh, the housing. Uh, so you can use the uh, front wheel uh, underwater, you can set it to any um, any function you want really, focus, white balance is what I use, so uh, you can use it to zoom as well, but uh, you do have a zoom function on the, uh, on the housing. Um, so yeah, uh, and this is the camera, Canon S110. Um, I may do a review um, in the future, but to be honest, um, not really a professional with cameras and I only use it for one thing um, you know I use it to take uh, photos underwater um, and I've actually got a uh, backup which is what I'm filming on now um, which I'm going to use as a backup and to vlog with so um, yeah that's the camera that's the cog so that was the camera setup what I'll do now is I'll uh, basically just uh, show you some pictures and some video footage that I took
thanks for watching the video. Uh, hopefully you got an idea of what you can achieve um, with a compact camera setup. Um, all those pictures and videos you just saw at the end, um, the king mackerel, the nudie, and uh, the coral landscape picture. Um, it was all natural light. I didn't use the strobe or the video light um, as the visibility was um, brilliant um, my last trip in May. Um, coming up on my channel, I'm going to be vlogging um, my time in Thailand. I'm heading back out again to do my dive master um, on October 24th. So I'm going to be trying to vlog every day. Uh, the internet connection out in uh, Koh Tao isn't the best, so hopefully I'll have a video up every day. Um, and I've got some quality ideas uh, for some underwater videos as well. Um, going to be featuring music from uh, one of my friends whose artist name is Luca, and uh, the wonderful uh, Jennifer Davies as well has given me permission to use her Lapse of Time single um, for a... Uh, cool video that I've come up with. Um, I've got it all in my head. I just need to put it into uh, actual footage now. I can't wait to get out of there. But um, if you're interested in following my journey or uh, interested in um, seeing what I get up to, any reviews, uh, I'm going to be reviewing my BCD. Uh, it's a travel BCD um, in the near future. Um, yeah, please, please subscribe. Um, in the description below, um, I will put the shopping list for the compact camera. So if you are interested in getting one and uh, teaching yourself, then uh, you'll know what the prices are. Have a little shop around. You'll probably be able to find um, some cheap deals now as um, the prices that I'm going to quote you were quoted in uh, 2013. Um, it's what I paid in 2013 anyway. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, click that little subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.